welcome to this quick little tutorial that I uh, I just wanted to put together. Um, we were lucky enough in the uh, new community to get um, optical flares recently, um, which was uh, an After Effects plugin that uh, just creates, well, basically the coolest ever um, uh, lens flares. And yeah, it was released for um, for Nuke, and I just had to get it straight away. And then um, I was asked to do a histograph, what was it called histogram, histomatic, whatever uh, image for an invitation, and I came up with the idea of uh, using optical flares uh, in Nuke to create this effect. So I was just playing around with it, and I uh, I just wanted to share it. And this is uh, this is the result we're going for. Um, this is my daughter who really likes to dance. Um, not necessarily to any music, she just dances, which is amazing. But um, let's uh, start from the beginning with um, this video clip. Uh, it's just a uh, 720p uh, quick time. A couple of different things done. Um, it doesn't look particularly amazing uh, as is, so let's uh, try and stylize it, stylize it a bit. So the first thing I've gone ahead and done over here is uh, try and create that um, uh, separation, color correction, uh, what do you call it? Film strip separation, whatever. So basically, um, it's, it's a color correction where we adjust the gamma separately for red, green, and blue, which creates this effect um, of, uh, well, things are just a little bit off. Uh, and I just uh, crunched the blacks a little bit as well, just to make it look a bit older. So, quite simple stuff. And um, next up here, I, uh, I just uh, played with the saturation per channel as well. So, so we get a slightly different look to it, and already it's got that um, weird feeling that we we expect from uh, from old prints. But that, my friends, is just the beginning of what we what we're doing here. So we need flares, optical flares. <coughs> so uh, we'll just go ahead and create them, just uh, so so you guys can follow along if you want to. First thing you want to do is initialize the center, so it, uh, it pops it over to the center position. And then, of course, we can uh, move our flares around. This flare is a little bit too detailed for what we want, so we're going to hit options and get in here. And uh, let's just try and find something that we can mess up. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, that might do the trick. And we're gonna scale it up. Nah, actually, that's not gonna work for us. Because um, we want something pretty simple that we can then uh, play around with. This one could probably do it. As such. That's good for the first one. Um, I don't like these guys because um, what we're simulating is is more of a light bleed than an actual lens flare. So let's uh, pop in here and turn off all the multi iris things. Yeah, as such. Um, instead of you know you can you can do the color correction in here uh do like a global set it to some color um but I want it even simpler, so I'm just gonna pop in a color correction, take off the color another one, and just gain it um I think some reddish color is good for this, and we can just merge that over just so we're working. Uh, and we can actually see what we're doing. I want it to be brighter. 
we are destroying the image so like don't pretend we're not uh, and just go ahead and uh, and get some values in there something like this uh, I also want to just blur it a bit um, uh, as such just make it like this long ish shape okay already we're we're getting something might have gone overboard just slightly which is the only way to know that uh, you've taken it too far so that's one and I want to get one out, out here as well so let's just go ahead and create another one initialize the center put it up here for this one let's see if we can find one that has a bit more detail Cool flare, that sounds good. Something like that. Scale it up. Again, we want to get rid of the multi iris effect um, because we are actually doing something that's not really a lens flare. We're just kind of using using the tools for it. And get rid of the saturation. This one, oh, let's see how green works. And again, we'll plus that on top of our image. Uh, ba -ba Boom, here we go. And I'm pretty sure we want to go ahead and blur this as well. That could work. Maybe. Something like this. And it's definitely getting that look. Um, but there is one thing we need to consider since we're we're in video mode and not in still image mode we need to add some life to them because um yeah this is just uh it just looks like the overlay that it is so jump on in oops here and go down to the flicker arrow thingy let's do a sharp one kind of have to hit play to see what what it does uh, it's probably too fast and too much that's pretty cool and for the other one again flicker let's keep this one smooth let's see what happens just kind of breathing Yeah. And now hit play. I've got no idea where she learned those moves. It's got nothing to do with me. I, have to, I promise you. That's got a nice bit of life to it. So one more thing we could do, um, I didn't actually prepare this, so this could go all wrong, but um, we could add just a bit of noise and uh, to do that we just uh, go into the uh, position field here and hit um, equal sign. We're just going to do a... Uh, whatever value we had in there plus let's say noise uh, frame 
I don't know how much that's going to change. Uh, we probably have to multiply this by something because I think that value is probably very small. Well, actually, that's not for some reason giving us anything. So let's just do a sign and just to slow it down. Sign uh, frame divided by 20, all of that multiplied by 100. You know, it's, it's moving about. And of course, you'd probably want to get some more complex expressions in there. I'm just going to do the same thing over here. Hit equal sign, and it's going to be 121 plus uh, the cosine of frame divided by 12 multiplied by 67. Yes, I'm doing random stuff, I know. Let's see what happens here. Just to add a bit of, of life to it. Okay, and last but not least, let's put some grain on there. And I'm just basically just playing around with this just to uh, find something I like. Yeah. I think that could work. Uh, I don't know if maybe we should just blur the whole thing. You can do stuff like that, just play around with it. Um, but I'm gonna leave that up to uh, to you guys. So basically this is uh, well, just a really simple way of uh, of using optical flares for creating this kind of look now, doing 1,200 frames is just going to make it look a little bit weird, but uh, for whatever kind of shot you're doing, it, it might work out, and uh, I'm hoping you can uh, get something out of this. Uh, let's see, a couple of other frames compared to what we had. It is kind of fun, isn't it? So, might want to add some vignetting, glows, do your thing to it. But yeah, that's um, that's one way of doing uh, that. Uh, what's it called? Hipstermatic look um, in Nuke using optical flares. I'm I'm working on a complete um, optical flares course which is going to be available on render school so um so go ahead to renderschool.com and sign up for the newsletter and I'll I'll let you know as soon as it's out uh, until then just uh have fun play around with this let me know if uh if you can use it for anything cheers